Hello, and welcome to this Inkscape tutorial, Lines and Images. In this video, we will be looking at lines and how to alter and break them, how to alter shapes, how to place images, and how to use the erasing tool. If you are unfamiliar with Inkscape, it is a free, open-sourced, vector graphic system. You may download a copy of Inkscape from Inkscape Org. So Inkscape is a vector system, which means that it uses lines to compose its graphics. That being the case, let's go ahead and see how we can draw some lines in Inkscape. Go over to your left toolbar and click on the pencil. Now the pencil gives you the wonderful opportunity to not only create things freehand by clicking and dragging, out your line, but it also draws straight lines as well. So if you just rapidly do a double click and then it gives you the options for straight lines as well. If you rapidly double click and then draw it out, there's your straight line. You'll notice immediately the difference between freehand lines and straight lines because freehand lines will appear green and straight lines will appear red. Now once you've drawn your line out, you may need to alter its appearance. Now that we have our line, we can alter it as need be. To do this, you first go up to the selector tool, click the arrow button, and select the line that you want to alter. Over here on the right hand side we have an options box that will pop up. If the options box does not pop up you can come down to this lower left hand corner where it says fill and stroke. You'll double click inside of the stroke area and that will open up your options box. So we have our line selected and let's just go ahead and look through some of the options that we have available to us. You'll notice that we can change the units from pixels to several other different units. Let's go ahead and select inches. We can change the width of the line. We can change how the lines are joined together. If you were to have two lines that were intersected, you could have them at a right angle. You can have rounded curves. You can have them mitered across the edge. Or if you have just a straight line, you can choose to cap the ends, rounded, straight, flat. You can also dash the line, and there are several different dash options available to you. You can make it dotted, you can do longer dash lines, you can do smaller dash lines. Now one of the tricky things that you'll notice about Inkscape, with it being a vector system, you cannot just erase a line. You can try, but it's either going to delete the line or it's going to distort your straight edge. So if you have an eraser and you go through, whoop, the line is gone. So you need to break a line though. You need for a portion of the line to go away. You do that through editing the node path. So what you're going to do is you're going to come over here to your node editor. I'm going to click on that. Now you'll note that this line has a point on either end. These are called nodes, but we need to break our line in between these nodes. So what we have to do is we actually have to insert more nodes along our path. That can be done in the upper left hand corner with the little plus mark over the square node. We now have several nodes inserted along our path. Now to break this line, all we're going to do is we're going to select a node by clicking on it with our node tool, holding down the shift button, and then selecting the next node that we want to break our path between. We'll then go up to the toolbar up here where it says, delete segment between two non-endpoint nodes. There you have it. The path is now broken and the line is no longer whole. 
Moving on, we're going to talk a little bit about shapes. So I'm going over to the square toolbar over here, and we're just going to draw a rectangle out on the page. Now, if you look over here at the right-hand side where we were doing the options box with the lines, we, we will also use the same options box to alter our shapes. So if you notice, there are three tabs up here. We have fill, stroke paint, and stroke style. Now fill is going to be the interior of the shape. The stroke is going to be the boundary surrounding the shape. So you can kind of think of it as the border. You will use this options box to alter your shape accordingly, just like how you did with the line. Now one thing that I want to point out that's different with the shapes than it was from the lines is going to be the eraser tool. So that's this little square rectangle thing down here right underneath the spray can. And as we mentioned earlier, you can't really use the eraser tool on lines. However, you can use the eraser tool on shapes. You just drag it across whatever portion of the shape you want, and it deletes the appropriate section. The last thing that I will cover in this tutorial video is how to place an image onto your canvas. To do that, you're going to go up here to File, Import, select the appropriate file, click Open. And there you have it. Now the interesting thing about working with images in Inkscape is that Inkscape is a vector system and a lot of images tend to be raster graphics. So you can convert and work with raster graphics in Inkscape, but the way that we have this right now, this cannot be printed as is. This would have to be converted and have all sorts of filters applied to it before we could actually use it. But just for creation's sake, online, on the screen, it more than works for you. Thank you very much for watching this Inkscape tutorial on lines and images. You have a wonderful day. This video is brought to you by the Professional Writing Club. For more information, follow us on Twitter at PWClub at UAB and like us on Facebook at Professional Writing Club at UAB.